Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Manda and uh, you're probably wondering what in the world are we doing in Forside Department Store? Well, I came here to stock up on some stuff like uh, mostly big bottle rockets for Jeff because we've got a, I think, a pretty tough boss fight coming up. And I need to apologize because I haven't uploaded anything in like a week or longer. Oh, it's just been a pretty nasty week in a lot of ways and yeah, I won't get into all of it. But yeah, I had not, I had, besides being busy, I just did not feel like recording, I wasn't up to it, and my voice was kind of gone a couple of those days. Yeah. I'm a little snuffly today, so you'll have to forgive me, or at least I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> I don't know, we get weather changes here, like it gets from really hot to really cold, and oh, it just sends my sinuses for a whirl. Anyway, we're going to go back to Samas. Let's try teleport Alpha and see if I can not run into things. This is probably a really bad idea, so watch I'm gonna run straight into something stupid. Whoops. Ah. Oh, whoa, dude! <laughs> I actually pulled it off! Well, uh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, when you do this, you're gonna have at least $80 on you. As a matter of fact, uh... I have too much money on me right now, I think, so I want to put some of it away, just in case I die on this fight, which I might. Oops, no, not withdrawal. Blarg. 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 Eh. So yeah, after you get the... Sixth sanctuary location, you're gonna No, that's not the sixth, that was the fifth. Bah Yeah, I'm so on the ball today, can't you tell? Yeah, I think that'll be enough. After that location, then you come back here to Samas. Or you know you can do what I did and stock up on some good stuff. Oh and uh, the lady who used to sell magic cake, you can get magic tars from her if you want. I think they're too expensive and they don't even heal that much of your psychic points, so I don't think it's worth it. Honestly. <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna talk to that dude whose marriage problems we hopefully solved. Is it just random that I always run into one of these stupid signs going by this place? <laughs> Smash! Now I'm kind of also in a I'm, dilemma, sort of. Well, it's not really a dilemma, but I can't decide. Um, on the Let's Play that I want to do next, I actually can't decide between between three of them now. I know I said I was going to do Secret of Mana next, but I don't know. I want to do Secret of Mana, I want to do Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, and I want to do Mother 3. Do you guys have any real preference with any of those? I'm just wondering. Okay, so I think this is the guy, or is it the other one? No, we're not scared. We're gonna get our picture taken. <laughs> la la la. Fuzzy pickles! Yeah, you missed that, didn't you? Of course, we all. Whoa, wait, he's standing on the ship. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, shoot, I did not put a timer going. Well, that was smart. Uh, I think I'm about five minutes in. <laughs> uh, something like that. We'll just start this up here at ten minutes and hope that I don't go over. I think you gotta talk to this guy, yeah. Yes, good. We solved your stupid marriage problems. Now take us. Yes, we do. Yeah, you gotta have at least 80 bucks on you. So all four of us can go. Yay, we're going on a boat ride. I'm on a boat. No, I'm not going to start with that. <laughs> it's actually pretty nifty music. As you can guess, yes, we are totally going to get attacked by the sea monster at some point here. So, uh, prepare yourselves for a pretty tough battle. 
I'll run you through some good stuff to do in the battle when we get there, which shouldn't be too long, I don't think. But yeah, we're on the way to Skaraba. What? <laughs> wait, wait, I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was on the open sea, so I feel seasick. Oh man, what am I going to do? A sailor who gets seasick? So how come you guys are alright? So, that bald guy over there, your buddy, right? He came from Dalam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. Ha ha ha, I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away! Oh yeah, that reminds me. Do you guys actually want me to do, like, the voiceover things for thi for the text? I won't do it if you don't want me to. I'm just wondering. I know mostly I haven't really done a lot of it, so... I thought it might be annoying to you guys. I don't know. If it's not, you know, let me know, and I don't mind doing it. It's good practice for me and speaking and everything. <laughs> I don't know how great I'm gonna be at coming up with voices, but whatever. We all start somewhere. Oh, here it c, -c comes Kraken. Alright. So you're gonna wanna throw the big guns out on this guy. I'd say right off the bat, use your powerful psychic attacks. I don't remember if this guy has a shield or not. I don't think he does, but I don't know. <laughs> I would use her uh, freeze gamma. And uh, Jeff, if you got him big bottle rockets, use them. As for set, we're just gonna have him. Mm, we're also gonna have him freeze gamma this bugger too. He has got some really nasty attacks though, so you're gonna want to keep an eye on your HP and everything. Wabazam! Holy! Are you freaking kidding me? What? What? I swear I've not done like any extra leveling or anything. Is it just bad that I throw all my big guns at him at once? Oh my god. Guys, that is supposed to be a really tough battle. I mean, he's got some nasty attacks that do like massive damage to your whole party. Wow, oh, jeez. I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. No, oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have taken it easy. Oh, I just thought I should throw everything I had at him. Wow. I'm sorry, that must have been a really disappointing battle. Like, you guys all worked up for like, yes, boss fight! Bo bleh, boss fight. <laughs> Boss fight! It's going to be amazing! It's going to be tough! It's going to be close! It's going to be- Oh shit, it's dead already. Yeah, this is another place where you can get heat stroke! Whenever you go on this darker colored sand, you'll start sweating. Well, we kicked its ass in like one turn. Okay, the music here kind of annoys me. It's like- I don't know, a duck trying to sing or something. <laughs> You're gonna wanna talk to this guy? I think. Yes. Recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker. And now he's a dungeon man. Would you like to meet him? Yes, we would! Alrighty then. <laughs> Alrighty then! Alrighty then! I'll give you the key so that you can enter him. Oh wow, that sounds so wrong. Oh no, I don't have it. I must have lost it somewhere. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't worry about small things. Oh, great. He's lost the key. But oh, you remember uh, the dungeon maker? Uh, what was his name? Oh my god, I forgot his name. Brick Road! That was it. Yeah. Anyways, you can stock up on some stuff here. I'm probably going to have to buy some crap. Oh, the seasonings thing. I could show you how to do it. I'm probably not going to do it because I don't think I need the levels if I'm taking out Kraken in one turn. But yeah. I'll probably do a little bit of uh, leveling up here, though. Because there's some good enemies to grind on and stuff. I'll show you that. But these basically, uh, what you want to do, the trick, is if you have a rock candy or something like that, you like clear all of one person's inventory and get a bunch of things like sugar packets and... I think sugar packets and... Uh, there's one other one that worked really well, but I always use the sugar packets. <laughs> but you fill them up with sugar packets except for one space where you have the rock candy. But you got to make sure the rock candy is in the very um, bottom last spot. The bottom right spot, I believe. And then uh, whenever you use the rock candy, it'll use the sugar packet, but not the rock candy. 
So it's a it's a really uh, great but cheap way to put your stats up. I'm not gonna do it. I am probably gonna get new stuff here though, and then like I said, I'll probably do a little grinding here between now and the next video. But I'll show you those enemies first. We're doing pretty okay on our psychic powers and things, so might as well show you. Where are you, enemies? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh look, it's a UFO. He's like the desert, apparently. You know, I never showed you guys Criminal Caterpillar in the other desert, did I? Because I couldn't find one. Oh, well, I'll make sure I find the one here to show you guys. I know it comes around here somewhere, I'm not exactly sure where. If I can't find it, I'll look it up or something and then show it to you. <laughs> yeah, you can see the enemies here are a little tough. I took longer to destroy than the crack. <laughs> of course, I was doing physical blows, but still. So yeah, we got some enemies here, and we're gonna have to go to a pyramid and kick some ass. I think you find Criminal Caterpillar around here somewhere. I don't know how to make it appear. You probably just go back and forth a few times. So let me find some of the other stuff here. You're gonna find another Buka, I think. Oh, here's one. Scalpion! Or no, this is a different kind. This is a dread scalpion. They can still poison you, which sucks, so yeah, we beat the shit out of them. All oh, ice for, whatever. Dur -dur -dur. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to do a lot of recording tonight, hopefully. We're actually plowing through the game pretty far, I think. We're over halfway done by now, at least. Woo, vitality, I love it when that goes up. Good stuff. What did I want? Oh yeah. Beta. There you go. Hurrah! And I'm pretty sure we're probably out of time. And I might have gone over, so... I will see you next time, hopefully. And I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Amanda. And, uh, bye bye